family there are so many videos out there to tell you about increasing your confidence but I'm going to do the opposite today I'm going to talk about how you don't sound confident when you do these six things stay tuned All right, ladies and gentlemen, so again, let's talk about six things that you say. Yes, you. Yes, you, brother. Yes, you, my sister, that you say and you just don't sound confident at all. So number one, ladies, this is for you. Uh, hey, baby, uh, uh, do I look fat in this? <laughs> we coming out the gate. Do I look fat in this? Honey, if you do look fat in it, it's because you are fat. Yes, I know that's kind of harsh, but there is no sense in you asking that question. If you don't like your body, work on your body, boo. Right? I'm sure that most of us have a few pounds to lose here and there. I'm still working with my baby weight and everything. But, honey, I still look good. I don't ever ask my man, do I look fat? Because I look good. <laughs> and... My baby is very honest, and sometimes I don't want to hear his honesty, okay? So I'm not asking that question. <laughs> the second thing that you can do where you are not sounding confident is your texting, right? person didn't answer you back, and all of a sudden you send this text. So you're just not going to answer me? Don't do it. <laughs> Let the person get back to you when they get back to you. You know, even if they never get back to you and by the time they do get back to you, then they change the subject. You can do the same thing that they did to you. I mean, you know, tit for tat here and there. I mean, I'm not saying play games wholeheartedly. However, comma, if I text you and then you don't answer me and then I send you this non-confident text, boo. Let the games begin. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, dating, relationships, sometimes it really is a game. And some of us always say, I hate playing games. I hate playing games. Boo, you playing. You playing. Even when you think you're not playing, you playing. Even when you're in a marriage, you playing. Even, you know, wherever you at, whatever stage you are in, even if you ain't dating nobody, it's because you are playing the game to say, I ain't got time for that right now. You and we are all playing the game in relationships. Period. Period. You playing. The third way not to sound confident is, you know, you were texting back and forth or calling back and forth. You don't hear from him or her. And then when you finally do hear from her, guess what you say? Where you been? Trust me. If him or her wants you to know where they been, they going to tell you where they been. You don't have to ask where they been. They going to let you know if they want you to know. You don't have to ask that question. Now, it really doesn't matter which stage that you are in, or maybe this is something that I do, just do personally. Even if, you know, my boo is leaving, if you don't volunteer the information, I'm not 100% going to be like, well, where you going? Because it's really not that important to me. I mean, I hate to sound like I'm not interested in what he's doing. Of course I am. But usually what I'm saying is usually he tells me anyway, whether it's when he goes or when he comes back. So it's not that big of a deal, at least to me. It's not that big of a deal. You know, now if you have a person that's been showing you signs of them doing stuff that they got no business doing, then maybe this is why you're saying where you been. But if you don't trust your partner, why are you there with your partner? Think about it. Number four. Um, am I ugly? Now, most of the time you're not asking your significant other this. Most of the time you're asking one of your friends or because you maybe you heard this from so many people and now you're trying to see if everybody else or the people that are in your social circle or in your close circle think that you are also ugly. Let me just tell you, it really don't matter what looks God gave you. If your personality is on point, you ain't ugly. If you a good person, you ain't ugly. If your heart is good, you ain't ugly. It doesn't matter what this physical body looks like. It's we all are we all seem to be very superficial when it comes to looks and um, you know, I'm no different. However, I could get past your looks. If you are fine or if you are a beautiful uh, woman or whatever, 
and your attitude stink or you think that you all that or you think that you are better than dude you ugly sis you ugly like ugly to me has nothing to do with your physical appearance it really it's your behavior so I say you acting ugly or you being ugly or something about ugly all the time but really I'm talking about the behavior I'm not talking about your physical looks so when you are asking a person if you're ugly, most of the time, it really depends on your relationship. But usually, they're going to tell you no. Now, that's most of the time they're going to tell you no. But it's because they know your inner person. They're not looking at you to say, oh, she's ugly. Now, if you ugly with an ugly attitude, ooh, double ugly. <laughs> I'm just saying, most of the time, when you say or ask, am I ugly? And the person answers, that answer really has nothing to do with your physical appearance. But still, you still sound super non-confident. Don't to do that. Number five, am I going to hear from you again? Probably won't hear from me if you got to ask that question. If you don't feel like our conversation or our chemistry is working like that and you have to ask me a question like that, you're going to have me thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't contact you again like why would I want to contact somebody who don't know if I'm gonna contact them again you should already know yeah they, I mean chemistry was good the conversation was good we had a great time I'm gonna hear from this person you should really should be that confident to say you know why wouldn't he or why wouldn't she want to talk to me anymore why wouldn't he or she want to call me anymore why wouldn't I hang out with you know that person again you should be confident enough to know that they are going to want to hang out with you again. And as a matter of fact, you just waiting on the date and time. Like that you just waiting on here to say, you know, I'm available this date. Let's do this. Finally, number six. This is the sixth way on how to not to be confident. You're looking down and you're talking timid and you're talking meek and you're kind of just like, I don't really know. Uh, and, and there is no confidence at all in, in all of this right here. And you're playing with your hands and, and, and like, it's, oh my gosh, what's, what's going to happen? I mean, I don't know. And, and, and a lot of us as adults don't really do all of this stuff, but sometimes we do. Sometimes when we are at our weakest moments or in a very vulnerable state, this non-confident portion comes out. Being confident all the time is something that all of us struggle with. You're not going to be confident all the time. But these are six things that you just don't need to do at all. Wipe them out of your vocabulary. Wipe them out of your memory. You don't need to do these things at all. You do want to come off as a confident person. But all of this right here shows how not confident you are. All right? So work on it. Get rid of these things. Dismiss them from your life and from your vocabulary. And just when you start to think about it, switch really quickly. All right. So I don't know if you guys heard of Mary Robbins before, but she wrote a book and it's called The Five Second Rule. And so basically when you start to have these negative feelings, count down five, four, three, two, one. Stop having those negative feelings and think about something more positive that's going to make you even more confident. And she basically is letting us know how this is reprogramming our um, thought process. It's basically interrupting what you were doing by doing the whole countdown. And it doesn't work if you say one, two, three, four, five, because obviously you can continue to count up. But if you do the countdown, for some reason it's supposed to, she has like a whole bunch of interesting information in the five second rule. I thought that this was a really great book. This is not a book review. Anyway, if you get a chance and if you're interested in that book, I would highly recommend it. Work on yourself to build your confidence, but these six things need to be eradicated from your vocabulary. Definitely give me thumbs up and share this video with all of those that you know who need to see it. And I will see you in a future video. Deuces.